Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hot Wheels Garage. Today it's track day and we've set up a really awesome track. You can see here we've got the spiral stack up to start it off with a gravity launch. We've got two boosters, we've got two lift and launches, we've got two loop launches, we've got a regular loop, a jump and the turn kicker. So we're going to check out two five packs on this track. Let's take a look at them now. We've got the track builder five pack and we've also got the Hot Wheels 50th track stars five pack. Both really awesome packs. They're all track star cars, all Hot Wheels originals, and I can't wait to get in there and get them on the track. They're just awesome cars. Look at them. I picked them up a while ago in a hunting video. You can check that out as well. But let's get straight into these cars, open the packs, and check them both out because they're really awesome. All right, first up, we're going to look at the track builder system five pack. It's a pretty nice pack. It's got track tune, the governor. Diesel Boy, Baseline, and Chicane. They're all pretty nice cars. Uh, probably my favorite is, mm, I think, Track Tune, the first one. But um, let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below. I'm really interested to know which one out of this five pack is your favorite. But let's take a look at these cars now. Yeah, look at them. Really nice. Let's get them out of the pack. That's Track Tune there. Such nice car in that red, and he's got a bit of blue for the window, white base, nice blue chrome wheels. Let's check out the detailed views of him now. Yeah, look at it, such a cool car. It's got the Hot Wheels on the side, and with that chrome interior, we've got some chrome features at the front. And like I said, those blue chrome wheels, oh, they look really nice on this car. All right, the next one is the Governor. We've seen this car in the Hot Wheels garage before. He's come in some other track sets, but it's a really nice car and it's pretty cool on the track. So it'll be awesome to see it go. Let's have a look at his detailed views. Yeah, it's got that nice blue base there. It's got two tone wheels. You can notice the rear is yellow and it's got the white rims at the front. And I really like this brown color. Although it's a plastic car, it's pretty cool on the track. All right, the next one we've got is Diesel Boy. Pretty nice, um, lots of chrome in this one as well. It's got that yellow window, and you can see this car has also got two different color wheels, yellow rims at the front and white rims at the rear. It's like, it's a pretty scary looking car, to be honest, but it's a nice one, and I think that will go well on the track. All right, let's check out the fourth car. It's Baseline. And he's called Baseline because he's got a whole heap of bass speakers in the back there. It's like a ute pickup, this little truck. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's check him out. Yeah, look at that green. He's pretty awesome. It's got a black base, so we've got a black grill there. It's a plastic bodied car and the base is die cast. We've got two red, red wheels at the back and the black at the front, so a bit of contrast. All right, and the last car in this pack is Chicane. Probably my least favorite of the pack, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure why. Again, it's a plastic car, die cast base, but he's got green windows. It's got white rims on both his wheels. Uh, it's a pretty small looking little car, but yeah, not, not my favorite. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. All right, time to check out the next five pack, and it's the Hot Wheels 50th Track Stars five pack. Again, five pretty nice cars in this pack. I was really happy to find this one. Let's get it straight out. You know, I always open the five packs at the side. It's a little bit neater, but this one was very hard to open, and I made a mess of it. So this box is definitely going in the bin, unfortunately. Anyway, let's check out these cars. First up, we've got Bifocal 2. Uh, I must admit, this one is probably my favorite of the pack. I'm not sure why, but you'll see it's got the purple sides there. It's got full plastic, blue plastic lid, and it's got nice chrome interior. It's got those purple wheels. It's a white die cast base. It's actually just a really nice looking track car. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that one go as well. Look at it's really low profile. It's actually got a mean look on it. it looks pretty cool. And it's got the Hot Wheels 50th on the side there. They've all got that. So that's pretty cool. That's really nice. Now this second one is Loop Coop. I don't like the tail on the back here, this spoiler. We all know that I'm not a big fan of those big plastic spoilers, but this is a little cool car. It's got those, what is that color on the wheels? Is that a bronze chrome? I think it is. It's got a white base. This car is actually a die cast top. It's the only, no, sorry, there's two die cast tops in this pack. Otherwise they're all die cast bases, but this is a nice little car. Um, 
get rid of that spoiler and I'd like it a lot more. So now we've got Hot Wheels 40, HW40. This is another low car. It sits really low in the track, so it's pretty cool. Um, usually really good on track sets when they're this low. And you can see this one's got the two different wheels. It's got that brass bronze at the back there and that gold yellow at the front again hot wheels 50th and it's sort of got a tint in the window but you can see that it's got a chrome interior as well pretty nice looking car now here we've got off track it's a pretty cool car really popular and i really like this one in the hot wheels 50th five pack nice red color it's got that blue tinted window and you see he's got that bumper at the front a lot of detail in this car it, it, it's, to be honest it's really cool like if you look in through the top there you can see his engine in the gray interior plastic it looks pretty cool uh, i'm not sure about the wheels on this one though i don't really like that that style of wheel so last up we've got scuba di fugo uh correct me if i'm wrong but this is actually a pretty cool car as well. This is probably my second favorite out of the pack, probably because of that blue color. It's a really nice blue. Let's check it out. Yeah, look at it. It's just so shiny and metallic. Again, this car has got the two different wheel colors, uh, but yeah, it's that blue color. And I think the blue windows with that little bit of white interior makes it look pretty cool. So let's load up the first car out of the first pack. And it's track tune. So this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to give them three goes each on the track to see who can make it through. Look at it go down there on the loop. Pretty cool. Through that booster and into the lift and launch. Nice and smooth down there and into the loop launcher. Again, onto the lift and launch. Into the second loop launcher. Around the corner. Oh, fell out of the loop. So, it's got so far. I was really looking forward to seeing this one go. So we'll give it the second go. Load him up on the spiral stack up for his second attempt at this track. Got my fingers crossed for him. I really like this car. It's pretty cool in that loop when it flung out, like when it hit that loop before. But I thought it would stick in, but um, we'll give it another go. Look, see what it's doing. Again, almost halfway through the track into that second loop launcher. Oh, nice one. Oh, I took the jump and then hit the turn kicker. So it's the third and final go. Uh, really wanted it to make this, this one. It would be really disappointing for the first car not to make it. But anyway, into the loop launcher. Ah, oh, and then fell out of the lift and launch. So I popped him down where he finally made it to the furthest. And then we're going to load up the second car and check how he goes. And that is the governor. So let's watch him go through that spiral stack up into the booster. It's pretty cool on the spiral stacker. I like that. Nice into that lift and launch. Through the loop launcher, no problem. Second lift and launch. Bit of slow speed down that. Oh, just didn't make it. It sort of slowed from that lift and launch into the loop launcher and then it didn't get enough speed in the booster. So let's try it for the second go. The governor here, second go. Sort of doesn't look as fast on the track, this, this guy. He's a little bit slow around those curves. Sort of loses speed. Maybe it's because he looks like such a long car. And... Ah, oh, made the jump, but flung out of the the turn kicker there. So, you know, I had a look at the track um, after I gave him another go. I decided to change it around. I made the jump start a little bit smaller and a little bit longer to catch the cars. So just because both of them didn't make it, I thought we would see what would happen here with the governor if I just changed that track layout just a little bit. Sometimes you've got to do that when you make tracks, like they don't always work the first time, so you just fiddle around with it and then it becomes perfect. And I must say, although he uh, didn't have enough speed out of that loop, he performed pretty well. So I just gave him one more shot to see if he would go okay with changing that jump. Sometimes I wish those lift and launches went a little bit faster. They, f they feel a little bit slow sometimes. So again, the governor here, yeah, he can't do that jump. He loses too much speed in that regular loop. So, you know, I thought I would take track tune and give him one more go since I changed the track. Uh, give him a fair shot since he failed the first three attempts and you only get three shots, but 
like I said, change the track, give it another shot. Um, so here we are on his fourth attempt, but we'll pretend it's his first attempt. And nice. It was a perfect run. No problems at all. Straight into that turn kicker at the end. So I gave this track tune a pass. All right, next up, we've got Diesel Boy on that spiral stack up flung straight out of that first boost that didn't even make the first curve so we'll give him the second try let's check him out on that spiral stack up yeah it's nice there oh made it all the way around the curve this time i thought this one would be a good track car as well since it's like sort of felt really like a low gravity center when you hold this one in your hand it was pretty cool um yeah he flung out of that loop a bit disappointing so load him up for a third attempt. Watch it go. See how I mean? It feels a little bit slow, those lift and launches. It'd be nice if they were a little bit faster. Mm, yes. Ah, I flipped out of the loop. So he didn't pass that loop, which is a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, the next one is baseline. Look at the spiral stack up wobble. Like, I don't know, he made that one wobble quite a lot. Into the loop launcher. Yeah. You know, some cars don't actually like the loop launcher, and I must say, so far, they're all going through it very nicely, which is really good. And look, bam! First shot all the way around. Excellent. So that's two cars out of this Track Builder 5 pack that have made it around. So let's check out Chicane. His first attempt at the circuit. Now again, this was the least favourite out of the pack for me. And look at that. Uh, smashed out of the lift and launch, unfortunately. Didn't make it in. So give him his second attempt. Yeah, it looked like it lost a little bit of speed on the corner. And you know why? Because it actually flipped around and he's now running backwards. So he sort of like flipped around in that turn and running backwards around the track. And he didn't even make it to that third loop. So we'll just load him up for his last shot. This is Chicane, the last car from the Track Builder 5 pack. Mmm, nice, so far. Uh, again, out of that last booster, so he failed. So that was two out of that five pack that made it. So let's check out the Hot Wheels 50th track stars. First up is Bifocal 2. Now again, this was one of my favorites out of the pack. You can see he's performing very well there. It's really fast around the track too. Um, I was quite surprised. And it was so fast that into that second lift and launch, he sort of jumped off the track a little bit, so he couldn't make it down. All right, his second attempt. Yep. Perfect into that second lift and launch this time, so that's pretty good. Oh, it's into, into the turn kicker there, but got stuck. So last attempt for the first car of this five pack by Focal 2. Yeah. Oh, bam, made it over the jump into the turn kicker and he won. So on his third attempt, Bifocal 2 made it all the way. Let's check out Loop Coop fell straight off the spiral stack. It was a little bit too heavy. So that was a fail already, wasn't it? See, this one made the spiral stack wobble a little bit too. So this is his second attempt already because he fell out of the spiral stack up. A little bit slow out of that lift and launch. Uh, and just didn't have enough speed out of that third loop. So we'll give him his third attempt. Straightening that up there. I just didn't want him to fall out again. Yeah, 
see he's very slow out of those lift and launches when he gets to the top. He just sort of rolls out slowly. Doesn't really pick up much speed. Again, fell off that jump. So he made it a fair distance. All right, let's check out HW40. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I really think this is a nice track car, this one. Jeez, pretty fast into that lift and launch. Just straight in, no problems. Around that last curve, into the loop. Bam, into the turn kicker. Yes, he wiped out at the end there, but he made it all the way to the end of the track. So that was Hot Wheels 40, HW40. Pretty cool. Let's check out off track. I had big hopes for this guy. I really like off track. Uh, I don't like the wheels on this version, but it's a pretty cool car and didn't make it that far. He got stuck in that lift and launch there. So second attempt already. Again, stuck in that lift and launch. And it's probably because this car sort of is down, like it's lowered at the rear. Uh, so he's sort of getting stuck at that lift and launch. His rear is not high enough to come out of it, unfortunately. Again, third attempt and stuck in the lift and launch. So that was a fail. Now the last car up is Scooper Defugo. Uh, this one, like I said, probably my second favorite because of the color. I thought it would be a nice track car. Hugs the road really well. Yes, look at it. It's really nice. Pretty cool. See into that second lift and launch. Oh, I didn't like that loop, fell off the jump. It's unfortunate. All right, second attempt for Scooper de Fugo. So most of those cars seem to get around that first curve. Well, they all got around the first curve at least once. Um, so not too, not too bad, and they all once they get around and through that lift and launch, they usually make it through the next two loops, and it's just that last loop and jump that we have the problem with. So now his third and final shot. Yeah, look at it. it's nice looking car. Yep, second turn. No problem so far. Oh, and made the jump, but not into the turn kicker. So he got pretty far as well, but that's how it ends. So those, these guys made it. This is the four finalists, well, the four winners, aren't they? They're pretty cool cars. I'm really happy that two of them made it. I'm really happy Tractune and Bifocal 2 made it. Pretty cool cars. You just see where the others failed along the track. Nice cars. They're all nice cars. Yeah. Nice cars, nice track. So let's just take a look at the track. You can see we've used our spiral stack up starter set. We've got two lift and launches, two loop launches, two power boosters. We've got a regular loop, the jump it, turn kicker and three of the curvets, as well as a whole heap of straight pieces. Now these are pieces that you can get in stores and would be pretty easy to put this set together for yourself. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this track day layout. Also pick a car from either five pack and let me know which one is your favorite. All right, everyone, big thumbs up. Any other comments, leave them down below. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's up next in the Hot Wheels Garage. Thanks everyone.